Let's learn more about Terramine's behavior rules and policies. Rules and policies are a way to create proactive or reactive actions based on basically any activity Terramine monitors on your users' machines. You can find any current rules and policies you have and create new rules and policies by going to behavior on the left and then selecting policies at the top. On this page, you can see the sample rules that would have come with your Terramind instance. You can turn any of these rules on or off by toggling the yes, no toggle next to each rule or policy. If you toggle this to yes, the rule will be on. And if you toggle this to no, the rule will be off. You can also click the three dots over on the far right next to each rule in order to export the rule, edit the rule, or delete the rule. You also have the option to copy or remove the rule if you would like to move the rule you create from one policy to another. If you click on the information button to the left of the three dots, you will be able to see a summary of the rules triggers and actions. You can also click on the name of the rule to check out the rules details or make any changes. If you would like to create a new rule, we recommend that you start by creating a new policy. Policies are similar to folders and rules are similar to the documents that you would put into a folder. You can create different policies based on the types of rules they will include, or if you would like to create different rules for specific users or departments, you can create a policy for each user group or department. To do this, click Create New Policy. Here you can name the policy, select the department or individuals that you would like to include in the policy, and select any individuals you would like to exclude from the policy. Once you create a new policy, you will be prompted to create a new rule for that policy. At the top, you can name the rule and add an optional description. Below this, you can select the types of rules you would like to create. There are three different types of rules. The first type of rule is an agent schedule rule, which is based on your employee's schedules you can set up under configure and then schedules. These rules are useful if you would like to receive notifications if your employees log in late or leave early, are working less or more than a specific number of hours in a week, or if they are idle for a specific period of time. The next type of rule is an activity rule. These rules are based on the types of activities that your employees participate in on their machine relating to web pages, applications, OCR, and more. Terramine can send you or anyone else alerts if these actions take place, block the user's action, or perform other actions that we will discuss later. You can also use this orange time bar below to specify exactly when you would like for the rule to be active, in the case that you want the rule to only be active during your employee's work shift. The third category of rules are content sharing rules. These rules are included in our DLP package and can detect specific data that can be shared across various ways, from something as simple as a clipboard to files to emails, and are a great way to control your insider threat detection program. After you select the type of rule you would like to create, you can select who the rule applies to on the second page. The rule will automatically inherit the settings based on the policy you added to, but you can also turn this feature off and add individuals or departments outside of policy specifications. You can also exclude specific individuals. If, for example, you want to use this rule for an entire department, but exclude individuals who don't follow the same workflow. Next, you will determine the action that must take place on the user's device in order for the rule to send an alert. For this rule, we are going to specify that the user must be on Facebook for more than 30 minutes in order for the rule to trigger. Whenever you build a rule, there will be several different options for the actions here, so you can customize each rule to your specific business needs. On the last page of the rule, you can select the action you would like to take if the user violates the parameters you have set. If you would like to simply be notified if the rule is violated, you can toggle the notify action to yes and input any users or email addresses that you would like to receive the email alert. You can also block the user from performing the action by turning the block option to yes. This can be helpful in the case you've set up a rule relating to sensitive data and want to block a user from sending an outgoing email with that sensitive information. You also have the option to lock out your user. If you do this, your employee will be immediately locked out of their device and will not be able to log back in until a Terramine admin logs into the system, goes to the employees page, and unlocks the user's device. You can also redirect your user to a different web page. Say they have been on social media for too long and you want to redirect them back to a work-related site, you can do this here and input the specific URL you would like to redirect them to. 
You can also send the user a warning message on their device if they are doing something that you would like to warn them about or guide them to the next behavior with a message like, you've copied sensitive data. Be mindful sharing externally. This message will appear as a pop-up on your user's screen. If you are using the hidden agent and have tasks set up within Terramind, you can configure Terramind's rules to change your user's active task when they are on a specific application or website in order to track how long they are working on a specific task or project. If you would like for Terramind screen recording to be enabled only when a behavior rule is violated, you can edit Terramind screen recording capabilities to capture your user's screen activities only when a rule is violated under monitoring settings. To do this, go to monitoring settings Select your group of monitored individuals, select the gear icon for the screen settings, and toggle on the record only when behavior rule is violated option. Then you can turn on the record video option for each rule you would like to see the screen recording for. You can also specify how many minutes before and after the violation you would like for Terramine to record. Finally, you also have the option to set up a command on your user's Windows device. For example, if you would like for your user's computer to log out your users after a certain period of idle time, you can input the Windows lock command here after figuring the idle time rule, and the user will need to input their login password to log back in. After you have selected the type of action you would like for your rule to take, make sure to hit Save and Launch to ensure the rule is active. For more technical use cases, you can also set up rules in Advanced Mode. After configuring the type of rule you would like to set up, you can select Advanced Mode to select how many times the rule would need to be violated before an action would take place. Here you can choose a threshold of hourly, daily, or monthly, and choose the maximum number of saved alerts that you would like to be saved for each day. Below, you can have different reactions based on how many times the rule is violated. This is useful if perhaps one of your employees sends an outgoing email with a social security number, but more than one email would be considered a low risk action and you would like to be notified just in case. You can add more thresholds based on how many times the rule is violated and determine how risky the action is with different risk levels. You can also go beyond just notifying someone as you have the option to also block the action or lock the user out entirely. Make sure to hit save and launch to ensure the rule is active and then you can check back on your behavior policies page to see the new rule you have created.